Hey everyone, it's Jason here with a new update for Fire Jumpers Inferno. So I have been working on improving um, waypoints for aircraft, uh, and I wanted to, um, you know, have more flexibility to be able to change the altitude as well as the speed of the markers uh, to be able to tell the aircraft what to do. Uh, so let's take a look here. Um, I've always Loading some random maps. Look at that. Is that is that some kind of dam? I guess that's pretty cool. Okay, so um, to now place them, you just press the le the letter Z like this, and you will create a new marker. Uh, so let's bring this guy actually closer to where we're going to get the water. I find sometimes it's nice to start where you're going to pick up the water. Uh, you can click on the uh, on the numbers here, which this is the first marker, and it's at 550 meters from the ground, which you can adjust by going up and down. And then the kilometers, which is the speed, is adjusted by going left and right. Uh, so you have a lot of flexibility on how you want this uh, to work. Um, and when you press Z in the water, it will create the post, but it'll automatically, uh, for your convenience, make it small uh, and close to the water with the appropriate kilometers. Now, here it says 10 kilometers per hour. That is a um, that is the the minimum uh, that you can have, except for airplanes, which will have a stall speed. So it will go up to its stall speed without uh, going less than that. Um, all right, so we've got those two markers, and let's get another marker uh, outside the water. We'll bring it down, and let's increase the speed because we want to get all the way up here, let's say. And this, we also want to be fast. And uh, let's say there's a fire here. Might not be a big fire. This doesn't seem like a, a high vegetation area. But OK, let's say we have this here. So they're all numbered. One, two, three, four. We're at five. And we're going to go to, uh, let's say, six over here. And now we're going to reduce our speed and our height a little bit just to better line this up. Um, and I find it is best to use three, uh, just to be able to kind of get the airplane to kind of follow that path. Uh, again, uh, it for convenience, if you're close to the fire, it will automatically shrink to uh, its starting size. Uh, but you can adjust again, you know, the height at which, because sometimes when the units are coming down, flying down, they're going down, but then it's going down a little bit before going back up. So uh, that's why these guys are kind of important to line them up just right. So once you've get the the ninth waypoint, we want to get back to the number one. However, I got to be careful uh, in placing the the waypoints. So when I'm going to do this, the aircraft will have to follow its restrictions and its turning to be able to get to this marker. So let's just leave it there anyways. Um, and then we're going to come over here, which is the just before last marker, and we'll go fast again so we can do this loop as quickly as possible. All right. Let's add okay, so we got eleven, we got one. Uh, now to start it, you gotta press the letter V and then you will auto you'll set it to autopilot. Uh, and at which point um, it will follow its path and follow all of the instructions, you know. Uh, from altitude to speed. Uh, so here he is. He's picking up some water. Uh, so let's get the other planes 
in on the action. Uh, now, if you don't press the letter V, but you just leave, it will then automatically put you into autopilot. Um, but if you want to stay in autopilot, you press the letter V, and then it kind of gets stuck in that motion. Uh, I've also added a line uh, from the airplane to the waypoint markers. Uh, and this kind of helps identify where your airplanes are uh, at a glance. So you can see, okay, here's this guy over here. Oh, we got another airplane. He's just ready to drop. So we just got here in time. And let's take a look. Do we have this? Let's get this right on here. Okay. Yeah. Doing a great job. And see how the, the, the airplane had to take a turn all the way around. Uh, in fact, probably the best thing to do is get the twin air. Let's t take control of the plane again here. Whoa. Um, now where is the other guy? There he is. Okay, yeah, so he's coming. I want to see if I can uh, line it up so that we end up flying together here. Uh oh, all right. All right. Let's do this. Get close enough. There we go. Autopilot. Here we go. Whoa, they are very close together. All right, so this will be a great uh, example to show how the turning radius of one aircraft, the bigger one, had to take a larger turn. So they don't follow exactly the same path, uh, although here, technically, they would be almost crashing. But, um, but it's working out pretty good flying in tandem, right? So this guy had to do a, a larger turn, but this guy was able to do a sharper turn and kind of catch up on it. But the larger plane can go a little bit faster than the smaller plane too. So, um, oh, look at that. The smaller plane has a higher acceleration. There's all kinds of little features that helps, uh, you know, with the speed of how these units are, are done. Uh, yep, and here we go. And the nice thing too is uh, all of this can be adjusted on the fly. So let's take a look here. So, oh, we want them to come over here. They already done. They already got all their water. And, and it is kind of nice um, in autopilot. Uh, and the reason why is one of the things is I want to be able to create those kind of bird dog planes where the air attack officer is flying around in the plane and he's not flying, he's just in the passenger seat and he's, you know, just following a circuit and looking around. So that's one of the things that I do want to add uh, to, to this is where when you're in automatic pilot mode that I would be able to click and look around without exiting the plane, um, right? But, uh, but yeah, very functional, easy to use. Um, I wonder, increase the speed. Oh, look at that, just dynamically while, while in the game. It's great. All right, well, I think that kind of sums up the, uh, the improvements uh, to the waypoints. Um, also, just a, a little fun thing that you may have noticed, uh, the words 
are always facing you as the camera. So you're always going to see the information as you look around the map. So yeah, just fun little things uh, just to help with the user interface and keep things smooth. All right, uh, well, I think that's it. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.